Oh, we gotta bring Bennett back. Yeah. yeah. Man, I, I saw Bennett on, on the gram doing big <laughs> things over there. I always like messing with she her just, too. She just broke her arm or something, you guys. No. Yeah, she I did. I gotta reach out she to her. It. Yeah, I saw. Bennett's the coolest, man. Shout out to Bennett, Shout man. Shout out to Bennett. Shout out to the whole team. We got Anita knows with us now. Yeah, yes, Anita knows. Hi, Anita. Yeah. Hi. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about that uh, Jada, that Will Love, one of America's favorite couples, Will Smith and Jada <laughs> Pinkett Smith. So, you dumb. <laughs> so they've been in the headlines lately. Um, Jada's actually going on a news uh, press tour right now because she's promoting her memoir, Worthy, and she's had several interviews giving us all the juicy details. Mm. She talks about Tupac. She talks about that Oscar slap, the struggle with alopecia, and her marriage to Will Smith. Uh, most notably, she goes on to shock the world and admit that she and Will Smith have been separated and living apart for seven years. Mm. That's right. One of our couple goals is not even a couple. Um, so now, even though they're not together, they make sure to stand united. They go to events together. They rock. They walk the red carpet together. They even vacation together. Um, at the moment, they're not they have no plans for divorce and that's going all around social right now it's going viral a lot of people are wondering um a lot of people have their opinions on it i want to hear what you guys have to say about it first off i don't think that's couple goals yeah no, no people you that's what i'm saying people used to use speak them as couple it. goals speak but they ain't it. no couple no more <laughs> and three figure snaps on that <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, everybody has a different take on it. <laughs> this is I, I have an interesting take. Mm -hmm. the, the funny um, thing is that people who had the most interesting takes on it are very quiet right now. They ain't saying well, nothing. because, you know, people are going to be watching, and, you know, sometimes I don't care how people think about me, but some, this is my opinion. Go um, ahead, brother. Yeah, exactly. So I think that people, like we were talking about, why would she come out? Mm -hmm. If you go back to the relationship with her and August Alcina, People looked at that like red, red table talk with Will Smith as like disrespectful. They were like, oh, he's crying. Or, you know, he's look how sad and emotional he is. And then you have the award show when he slaps Chris Rock. And then people are saying, oh, well, you know, he came to her defense. And I think a lot of heat has been pushed on Jada of Jada being like a reason for some of Will Smith's feelings and how he's acted out. I think that she felt like, OK, we haven't been together for seven years. The world doesn't know we're together. And I'm kind of tired of being the punching bag for everything that's happening in this relationship. Me being with August, I'm not disrespecting Will Smith because the world doesn't know that we haven't been together. So when August Alcina came out and said, hey, Will gave me the blessing, people were like, why would he do that? Like, they didn't believe it. Now, people are saying, possibly so, they're not even together. Mm -hmm. I think the book was to say, listen, the relationship that we have is personal. It's our relationship. We have a family. What we do is what we do, but we wanted to at least keep us together mm -hmm. it's still as a family unit not as romantically together but i'm getting a lot of heat on what's happened lately with the relationship and i think her putting it out you can't blame them anymore on um, their relationship if will does something it's because will's doing it it's not because jade is provoking him or jade is making him upset that's just my take i think the book is just to kind of defend this is where i am as my own individual and it's not what the world thinks i'm not making will feel a certain way he has his own issues. He wrote his own book about it as well. Yes, he did. His own traumas he outside did. of Jada. You yeah. know? Yeah. That's just my take well, on why she had to defend herself. Right. So a lot of people, like you were saying, are asking, well, why is she saying this? She keeps humiliating him. She keeps putting his name out there kind of thing. To me, I think she's doing it because she's just tired of the facade. Exactly. I think she just wants to have like her truth be out there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think she's just ready for... I don't know. I wouldn't say to move on because they don't have any plans to divorce. But I think mm. she's just ready to share her truth. Yeah, and the that's stigma. Where her truth move is. on from the stigma. Yeah. 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 Let's hear what you have to say, Anita Knows, Francois the Great. Yeah. No, I get it. I mean, they're going to always be family regardless. They've mm. shared so many years together. They have kids together. Yep. And even if they were not together when that whole episode happened with at the award show, um, I think he felt a need to defend her. Not, not just because he thought he she was his wife, but because she's the mother of his kids. But at the same time, I feel like she she didn't really say anything. She she didn't say like, you know, I stand 
by him regardless of what he did was right or wrong right um and now when she's coming out people are like well why are you saying all this now like why don't you say it then right or even just a little bit here a little bit there she rather has than been releasing saying a little here and there. everything at the same time you know and if you're I feel like you should value your relationship, even if it's over what you had before m mattered. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like you're throwing it under the bus, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How I kind of feel. But I feel that's like the way they are. They And they're very vocal. <laughs> yeah. 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 And they do things that are not necessarily ordinary or normal to the rest of us. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're so true. there's um. Hollywood royalty. So the type of rules and things that they live by is different than the average person. Mm -hmm. It's like the average person, we're not together no more. You know, it doesn't matter. We're broken up. And they're like, you know, together you're stronger, especially in this entertainment business. Mm -hmm. Like Jay-Z by himself is big. Beyonce by herself, she's big. But mm -hmm. together, they're colossal, right. right? So it's the same thing as anybody else, you know. Uh, Cardi B and Offset, she's big. Together, it's colossal. Um, I think the same thing for their relationship. It's like we're going to just keep parading that the family unit is still here we have our own individual problems but we're still together mm -hmm. may not be romantically so i don't know i mean the way that they did it is the way that they did it but obviously they have a lot of trauma you can see it and love for each mm -hmm. other i mean right. if, if if they continued to yeah. to still be there for each other that's all and even though they're separated mm -hmm. i think that's a lot of love between them yeah has Absolutely. anybody ever interviewed you um after sleeping with somebody else Huh? But think about it. Like Will Smith was interviewed by his wife or whatever about him sleeping. I mean, her sleeping with another guy. Oh, how crazy is that? That's yeah, that, why I said that it's is, not normal. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's wild. Crazy. That's wild. Yeah, that is crazy. That's crazy. That's another level. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. I think for me, my my take on it is, I understand where everyone is coming from, right? Um, I get Junior's point. I get Missy's point. Of course, I understand Anita's point. Um, I look at it as you got a book coming out. Of course, you're trying to m promote your book, but this <laughs> is like the biggest bomb for your book. So I'm like, keep it in the book. You're going to read it anyway. So I'm sitting here like, why are you giving it all away? I don't even want to read the book. I, I don't know. It makes me want to read the book. It makes me want to read the book. want to know what else because they yeah. were talking about she was uh, engaged, engaged to uh, Tupac. Uh, uh, well, he, he, not, not engaged, that he, he asked to marry them. Yeah. There's yeah. m there's more in the in the story. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like to me, I, I, that's kind of what I I got and then I got like what Anita was saying too because I don't know. This is just my opinion. When everything went down with Will and Chris, it got real quiet over there. What you mean? And and, and like he was trying to defend you, but I mean, she, it, it, you, it, you it, quiet for her? Yes, I mean for me, that's that's kind of how I I didn't hear I didn't really hear I mean, or I see mean, too that, much. That's, of, a, that's a man on so, man type thing. I just don't yeah, know what like, she would. I don't know what she would do. I, now, I don't know. Now that we know that they're separated, and he did he did what he did with Chris Rock. I think of it as like that was that was about something else. That wasn't that right. wasn't really about the joke. It wasn't really about his wife. It it was something that he was dealing with in his own life, and that's just how it manifested that's what I'm saying. outside of him. It, that's so, my whole, I felt the same way. And I don't think it had point. anything it to do. It was a tipping point, yeah. It had nothing to do with um, Jada Pinkett at all. I, it was just, yeah. That was just it, him. But Jada did say that at one point in time, Chris Rock reached out and was like, wanted to ask her out on a date. And she was like, huh? Like, what do you mean? He goes, aren't you and Will like not together no more? And that's crazy. You think Will didn't find out about that? Yeah, it's just. Keep I, my wife's name out your mouth? Like. But if they weren't together when he asked? Yeah, fair you game. Know, if they were having Get on an open tell. marriage, would, would I mean, stay together? She said in the I don't interview. Even think it's open. She said in the inter in one of her interviews that that was the first time he had called her wife in a really, really long time. Like so, mm. for for that to come out the way it came out, meaning he like was so aggressive and it was such like a huge ordeal, it was very intense. That that had to have been about something else. I don't think <sighs> it was specifically about the alopecia joke. Yeah. yeah, I mean, everybody, there was a, there was everybody a lot. had everybody. So are you still supporting Will Smith in his movies despite everything? Does it make you want to support him more or is like, is it neutral? You still feel the same? I feel the same. I'll yeah. still go support him. I'll okay. still support him. I'm not, I'm, he's not counseled. What about Jada? If Jada drops a movie, are you supporting? I don't think she's dropped anything. In but I'll, 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 I'll support. If she, if she does, 
Are you like I'll a support? Yeah, I'll support because their mm-hmm. business is their business. Like right. their right. marriage is their marriage. So that, it has nothing to do with me. Like, right. you know, if he. People was, taking it personal. Yeah. So, I mean, everyone has their own idea and their own um, what they want in their marriage. So if that's working for them, that's working for them. I don't know how it's worked for them. Seven years separated and, you know, still fit because they said they're still figuring out what it is. And then they are not planning on getting a divorce so that's kind of like well you guys are just in a standstill or you guys are just going to stay in this like place forever i don't Mm. know it could just be familiar familiar right they're just so used to each other right that's their family and that's how they've been together so long that they don't know anything else so that's just what takes makes them feel comfortable that gives them comfort. Yeah, like a Goldie Hawn, uh, Kurt Russell. No, they're together. They're together. Even though they're not married, hmm. they're, they're, not married they're together together. Yeah, but that's what they're telling us. That's <laughs> but really quick. Because think I, about it. Because what if, what if, what if uh, Kurt Russell was like, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take out Tammy. What's she going to say? <laughs> We're not together. I think I'm, am, so am I lying? He is so they're bad. together. <laughs> they're just not married. Yeah, they're together. I mean, that's what works for some people. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what, you just said it. That's what works for some people. That's what works for Will and Jada. Mm-hmm. But Will and Jada are not together. They're together, but they're not. They're together, they're but they're legally not. They're legally married, but yeah. they're not romantically involved. involved. Yeah. yeah. That could change. Kurt, Goldie and Kurt, they are romantically right. involved. They're just I, not I don't know married. that, Missy. I'm not in the bedroom. I don't know what they're doing over there. They <laughs> might just say they're together see, for the power couple. That's the difference, but Think about it. If they separate, if Goldie and Kurt are no longer... It just... It just kind of almost diminishes the power of them together, right? But you'll never know because that's the difference between those two couples. One couple's more private about their personal yes. life mm-hmm. and you the go. other one's not. So it's just the way you live it and what you share with everyone Shout else. I mean, I, to be honest, I think that they've been very private about it because uh, Will and Jada, even though they talk ha- and have interviews, they've kept this a secret for seven years. That's, 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 that's pretty private. Yeah. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. They talk about other stuff with that's the amazing. relationship, though. That's pretty good. Yeah. Seven years going on a decade uh, okay so what about the kids though what do you they think know, they know oh, they, how they long know. do you think they know they, first how long do you think they've, they've known i think since they've the always beginning. known yeah, yeah. yeah. always i think yeah. i agree well, they keep kids always know them. things early right i mean they're they're within the direct circle of their family right. unit so they know and plus i think will and jada have always said that they always try to speak honestly with their kids and talk about like everything and anything and give them an ch- opportunity to uh try things that at an age where they're ready to they've never really tried to like keep anything from them or shelter them wow but on a side note i do want to give jada a shout out because she shares her struggles about alopecia Mm -hmm. and i think a lot of people don't even know what it is and how hard it is for people that do deal with it Mm -hmm. you know it takes a hit to their confidence you know how they feel about themselves and yeah, absolutely. A lot of people just don't talk about it. Either. Yeah, I didn't know what it was until she. It's yeah, not an easy she publicly thing. spoke about it. I have family and really good friends that do have it. Okay. So, mm. you know, like, I just have to give her a shout out for putting out out. talking about That's it. That's tough. Shout out. Mm. That's just showing it tough. They're and both her, talented and people. Her, and her soulmate, Tupac. It's not her soulmate. He well, says, she said right. that they're, that's my soulmate. They, they I don't get it though. I, though, I, I how think, can someone think, be your soulmate with no chemistry? Well, I think exactly. I can see it. Well, the thing is, I think he died. Soulmate with no chemistry. I mean, to me, like you can be soulmates with friends. You can be soulmates with like your family members. Um, it, you it my basically, soulmate, bro. Yeah, you. <laughs> you so my is, soulmate. Is there, Don't leave me hanging. Soulmate. Is there chemistry between my you soul, guys? This is my soulmate is right here. Is there chemistry between you guys? <laughs> well, when chem- chemistry is weird with the guys. Okay, so <laughs> there's chemistry. not chemistry. I mean, but you guys. My, that's my dog. Right. Yeah, <laughs> but you go. guys could be soulmates. I mean, no, I, yes, I think, be, no. I'm, he's not no. my. They're not, I, I'm roma- not his soulmate. They're I not think. romantic soulmates, but I mean, having that um, connection with somebody doesn't. It doesn't have to be romantic. I, yeah, I, friendship. I would love to yeah, hear. That, yeah, we just have friendship. Soulmate. I feel is like someone that, that you're you just like bonded I, by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff, I, for yeah. a life. You, yeah. yeah, you know yeah. what I? I but would it, love. It, go ahead. I'm sorry, but in there, in her. In her explanation of it, it's like, okay, but you're saying you're bonded for life. But in her explanation, they're saying their connection goes beyond just one life. That if there's multiple lives, then they've seen each other in different lives. Well, think about it. Jada said that when uh, Tupac asked uh, uh, to marry her, she was like, I can't take that that long road. I can't do time with you. And the reason why she said, she she did. I seen that. She said, I can't do time with you. (laughs) 
And the reason why she said that is be, it was off of uh, it was off of the basketball players. Uh, she said that she said that uh, all uh, up in smoke. What's it smoked. called? She said he all, wanted all someone. Smoke. To, he all wanted smoke. someone to do time with her, and she goes, "We don't have to be married to do that. I'll still do time with you. But like the, I'll still be here for you." But she wasn't though. She wasn't there for him. She wasn't there for him. No, oh. she was not there. For, that's what I'm saying. Like she said that for me to to be there with you, I have to do time with you. And she was like, "I wasn't prepared to do that." And for oh. me, for me, that means like as a soulmate. You know. A soulmate would be there. I'm going to be there with you. With her. There, and she was like, nah, it's not going to work. There's only, uh, when it comes to that. on different clips. When it comes to that situation right there, there's only one thing I would want to know. How does Kidada Jones feel? That's all Who? I want to know. <laughs> okay, so do you guys not <laughs> know? Who, like, do, do you guys <laughs> know? <laughs> okay, so do you guys not know who Kidada Jones is? No. Kidada Jones is, is Quincy, Quincy Jones' Quincy okay, Jones okay, daughter. Oh, Quincy Jones' daughter was with, with Tupac, Tupac when he right. died. That's right. Now they so that, they had that, a, that's, they were very close exactly that's that's what I would want to know so when you guys looked at me crazy I was like they don't no, know who Kidada I Jones is. I wasn't familiar with the name but, okay. but when you when you, Quincy Jones yes mm-hmm. they had a, a very strong that's what I want I know. think that was like his biggest relationship and mm-hmm. but she doesn't talk much though. of course she's very private well she and, she, and he's not private. here to say who his soulmate was and you can have multiple soulmates anyways. So well, I just think that they would have been I think they were just very close it just they wasn't. Were. They just weren't romantically close. Friendship Correct. close. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, I don't know. But she, she left him in jail, though. I know that. She <laughs> left him in jail. Like, I'm not yeah. bailing Locked you. up. She left him in there. That, that's that's a fact. That happened. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Junior she left your boy in there. And then, did you hear Will Smith talk about how he felt about, he felt like the relationship that she had with him, that their connection was kind of tough for him. Mm. He's like he he didn't know how to deal with that. It was well, too right. much. Man. How do you compete yeah. with someone who's dead? Like you, you, you can't. can't. They had you a can't. deep. They had a deep friendship though. Yeah. Something he probably was jealous of. Like man, I don't have that friendship with her like that. A, yeah. a soulmate connection. <laughs> <laughs> Missy's holding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. In there. <laughs> <laughs> if she feels that way, it's all good. It's all good. But that is great dialogue. Everybody has an opinion. No, of course. I love everyone's opinion here. Yeah. And Will and Jada. Um, I love y'all. What you what you guys do? What you guys have brought to the industry? Everyone got their own opinion. Yeah. Um, and you know, continue to do what you do. And right. um, I, I just yep. I don't know when he's supposed to be coming back. Um, for you know the academy because he's like, well he's out for like another six seven years wasn't it like ten years that they suspended him? I think it's five years. Yeah, but, five years. Right? So. Yeah, of course. So we'll have him here at Luminary Sounds. Uh, exactly, exactly. Or Jada. exactly. Or I don't care Jada. about that show. Come over here. Exactly. I mean, Come to I, our I, show. I you said, or OJ. I <laughs> <laughs> no, I said We're Jada. We're drawing the line. I, I said look, Jada. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> look, OJ, OJ's doing pretty good on It Is What It Is with uh, Cam and Mace. So he, he's fine. Yeah. Oh, he's fine over there. OJ be talking about all kinds of stuff. OJ's great on, on X or yeah. the formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, man, I mean, in the meantime, I'd rather have Bo. Bonos, Bo Jackson. Bo, yeah, I, Bo, I love Bo, Bo Jackson. Jackson. I love Bo Jackson. Though, yeah. I love Bo Jackson. Hey man, so it has been a a, a wonderful time with uh, Dudes of Truth. You know, we on our way out. This is Junior Leto. This is Francois the Great. And Missy talks. Oh, and Anita knows. Let's That's go. Right. <laughs>